Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this episode, we're going to continue doing our VR merges to convert Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn to VR. I want to thank you guys for your patience, those who have been waiting patiently for this VR conversion. I know it took a while to come out, but it's taken a lot of planning to get this right. Anyways, the very first thing we're going to do is... Uh, this plugin here, TESL loading screens.esp. I actually missed it. I had meant to merge that with the rest of the loading screens uh, uh, plugins. So let's go ahead and take care of that first. So let's go into merge plugins hide. And we're looking for VR merge TESL. So let's go ahead and enable those plugins. And then in drop down menu, let's go to v e VR merge TESL. And then. And priority position number 61 in the plugins uh, panel here. Uh, let's drag that to the bottom. TESL loading screens.esp. There we go. And let's just put it on top of the rest. And let's uh, rebuild this uh, merge. I mean, it's just one plugin, but every plugin counts. Z edit, run. Drop down the Z merge, start session. And then go down to the profile for this merge. Here it is. Click on edit, go to plugins, scroll down, and tick the box for loading screens. Very good. All right, click OK, and then uh, let's rebuild it. Click build. Excellent. OK, we can close this out. Switch back to Legacy of the Dragonborn profile. And then we could hide those plugins. Okay. All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, for this next merge, uh, it's a bit of a miscellaneous, a potpourri of plugins, if you will. So the easiest way I figure for you to do this is to uh, pause the video and then take note of these plugins that I, dra I dragged to the bottom here. Um, you could either use this uh, here to still of this image here, or I have also um, down in the description, I have uh, all these plugins listed in the descriptions uh, below. So the easiest way to do this is to uh, click right here, the name tab here, and it'll put everything in alphabetical order. And then starting from the top, referring to the list, uh, start control clicking, all of the plugins that I have listed and then drag them to the bottom and then hit priority to put them back in order here and this is the order I want you to have them listed here at the bottom they're mostly in uh, alphabetical order except for sparkles here make sure sparkles sc.esp is in front of sparkles sc immersive sounds patch okay great now that you have all the plugins here down at the bottom here Let's go ahead and create the merge profile. So in the drop down, go to manage. We're gonna copy Legacy of Dragon Ball Special Edition. Copy that. Okay, and we're gonna call it VR. VR merge. Miscellaneous patches. Good. Okay, close it up. Now let's switch to that profile. VR Merge, Miscellaneous Patches. All right, great. And since you already have everything in order, we could just jump right in and go ahead and make that merge. So let's go to Z Edit, Run. Drop down, Z Merge, of course, start a session. And let's create that merge. And yep, we're gonna call it VR Merge, Miscellaneous Patches. Plugins, go down, and let's tick those boxes. Oh, the trouble that we're going through to make this work in VR. Why, oh, why can't Skyrim VR support .esl flagged plugins? What we need is a hero, a mod author with skills, the abilities to save us all. To load order, make sure you use game load order. Scroll down, click OK. And yeah, legacy consistency patches merge, conflict resolution Z patch. 
I have masters that require these plugins, but you know how we're going to fix that. Okay, scroll down, and let's go ahead and build it. Awesome possum is awesome. Let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go back to uh, Legacy of Dragonborn profile. Beep boop. Let's drag our merge. Oops, I double clicked it. Let's drag this up with uh, the merges. Let's activate it. And then let's hide those plugins. Merge plugins hide. There it is. Disable those plugins. All right, now let's run loot. Very cool. Click apply. Plug that out. Boom. Now let's open up Rybash. Cool, cool. Scroll all the way down. First stop, Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn, Consistency Patches Merged. So we're missing JR Moonpath elsewhere, so right click on that, change to, type in VR, and look for patch, miscellaneous patches, right there, click open. KRI DBM Delay Patch, right click it, change to, VR, miscellaneous patches, open, and that's it for that, save it. Let's go to Omega Conflict Resolution and do the same thing. Scroll down, Deadly Dragons, change to VR, miscellaneous patches, open that up. Apotheosis DBM, change to, type in VR, miscellaneous patches, open. All right, that one's done. Now Z patch. Jeremy Path Elsewhere patch, right click, change to VR, VR, miscellaneous patches, open. Then, yeah, that's it, save. And that's it for that, I'll close it out. Okay, now we're gonna load up SSC Edit and we have to fix the errors now introduced in the Mega Conflict Resolution patch. The Z patch and the Consistency patch are fine. So let's go up and SSC Edit. And I'm gonna select none, try to load this up a little bit quicker. Conflict Resolution, I'm just choosing that and then, okay. No mod groups, thanks. All right, so let's right click on conflict resolution and check for errors. Okay, so we're gonna fix this. It's concerning, once again, the Dragon Priest masks, but this is a totally different error than what we dealt with before. So we're gonna go down the line. It looks like a lot, but it's actually really easy. So here's the armor form ID right here. Let's highlight that. Control C up here, Control V, enter. And right here, these errors could not be resolved is what that's saying. And all we have to do here is to drag the, this over here. So from MLU patches merge, just drag it over to Lexi's Omega Conflict Resolution. All right, next one. This is for no cream. So let's copy that form ID, Control C, Control V. Yep, same thing here, except uh, this time it's like given like weird quests and dialogue where it's not supposed to be for model armors. It's once again supposed to be MLU patches merged. So we're gonna forward this over there. <laughs> now we're gonna go for Volsung. Copy that form ID. And same thing here. We're gonna just drag this on over. Perfect. Crosses. Here we go. Let's drag this on over. Ragat. Here we go. Hev Norak. Gotta love these Nord names. There we go. Blip. Otar. This is so easy, but tedious. Vulcan. Mm. 
And finally, Kona Creek. There we go. Drag it on over. And now let's double check. Let's check conflict resolution for errors once again. Okay. So now it's just these stupid tint layers that have nothing to do with us. After that, go ahead and close it out. And okay. All right, look at that. We're down to 290 plugins. So at least 40 more to go, I would say. All right, moving on. Before we do the next merge, we're going to remove Vedros Brahm regions. Priority position 345. The reason why we're doing that is that this is a very, very resource intensive mod. With my AMD Ryzen 9 5900X and RTX 3080 uh, video card, um, yeah, it's causing heavy frame drops for me. So we are not going to use this mod for VR. Or I highly recommend that you don't. You can do what you want. So go ahead and disable that, but don't worry. Nothing in this mod loadout needs that as a master. So we're good to go there. And in its place, I recommend Cathedral Landscapes and Cathedral 3D Pine Grass. The download to these are in the description below. So first start with uh, download Cathedral Landscapes. And you're gonna download uh, just the main file here. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And I'm choosing full install brown tundra and really blended roads because that's what we're using. Let's go ahead and install and let's go ahead and install that. This mod contains a BSA. Do you want to unpack it? Yes, we do. Do you wish to remove BSAs after extraction completed? Oh, well, that's a new feature of mod organizer too. Why? Yes. Thank you. Okay, then after that, Cathedral 3D Pine Grass. Download the um, Cathedral, uh, Cathedral 3D Pine Grass here, this main file. Version 0.457. That's what it's current as of this video. Okay, then let's install it. Very good. Go ahead and activate them. And then drag them up and position them where uh, Veduros Brom regions was. So positions 346 and 347. All right, time to go plugin hunting again. So these are the plugins that you want. And once again, I've left a list of these in the description down below. So once again, click on name here to put it in alphabetical order. And then starting from the top, control click these on your way down. And then uh, drag them to the bottom. Hit priority to put them back in order. All right, once you've done that, uh, there are several plugins here uh, that have a BSA associated with them. We, we are going to have to uh, unpack these BSAs. So let's start with Gilda Green Regrown. So click on archives here and then find Gilda Green Regrown. Okay, here's Gilda Green Regrown. So we're gonna right click on it, click extract but we want to extract it to the Gilda Green Regrown um, folder. So from here, click on Mods, which is inside Mod Organizer 2, which is inside Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn. So here's Mods. Down here, I'm going to type in Gilder. Gilder, there it is, Gilda Green Regrown. Click that, then select Folder. Okay. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, handle these as we go. So here's Gilda Green. I'm clicking on it, locating the blue line here, dragging the slider to that. I'm going to go in there and then I'm going to right click, create a new folder and I'm going to put the BSA in there. I guess you could choose to delete it if you like, but I like to back things up just in case. All right. Next up is unique border gates. So let's go ahead and find that in our archive section. Okay. Then once you find that, we'll right click on it, extract, same thing here, click on mods, type in unique. Then there it is, Unique Border Gates SE. That's the one we want. Click on that, select folder, boom. Let's go back to plugins. I'm clicking on Unique Border Gates and then go into its folder. And I'm going to deal with its BSA. There we go. And then finally, we're going to go to Point the Way. So 
let's find point the way. I wish these were in alphabetical order. I wonder if there's a way to do that. I don't see a way. Not immediately, anyway. Here it is. And point the way has two BSAs. So let's start with the first one by clicking on it. Extract. Click on mods here. And I'm going to type in point. So there's point the way. Select folder. Okay, first one's done. I'm going to do the point the way textures. Right click on it. Extract. And it should already be in the point the way folder, which it is. Select folder. And boom, that one's done. And I'm going to its folder right here to deal with those BSAs. Okay, next up, Bitter Dongard Entrance. Let's find that. Okay, here, here it is right here. I'm right clicking on it, extracting it. Clicking on mods and then folder. I am typing in immersive Dawn Guard for immersive Dawn Guard day, uh, day Spring Pass. That's what we want right there. Immersive Dawn Guard Spring Pass. Yep. All right. Moving to this folder now. All right, next up, Pilgrim's Delight. And it just so happens to be here. And this also has two BSAs. Clicking on mods, typing in Pilgrim. There it is, Pilgrim's Delight. Select the folder, then do the same thing for the textures. All right, great. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh this. Boom, and those little treasure chests are gone. All right, let's go to mod, uh, mod. Let's go ahead and merge these now. So let's go into profiles here, click on manage, and we're gonna copy Lexi Legacy of Dragonborn, copy that. And we're gonna call it VR, merge, landscapes, and locations. Okay. Close that out. Um, let's go to that new profile. BR merge landscapes and locations. Everything's already where we want it. So let's go into Z edit. Click run. Okay, drop down from here, Z merge. Start the session. And create the merge. And let's call it VR merge landscapes. And locations. Cool. Go to plugins. Click on all those plugins. Boom. All the way up to DBM Safe House Plus add on. Okay. And yep, we're going to deal with all of these here. And then go down to our newly created profile and let's build it. All right, when that's done, go ahead and close it out. Switch back to Legacy of Dragonborn profile. And we can go ahead and hide those plug, wait, we can't hide the plugins just yet. Let's position a new merge up with our others. Let's activate it. All right, now we can hide it. So merge plugins hide. There it is, VR merge landscapes and locations. Disable those plugins. And as usual, I advise that you do back these plugins up just in case. All right, so let's run loot. All right, now let's uh, open up Rybash and deal with these masters. Let's go down to the first one, which would be VR Merge. <laughs> All right, Safe House Plus is what we're missing. 
honestly, we could have merged that with Safe House Plus, but oh well. Let's change that too. Tap in VR, and we want landscapes and locations, not the INI, the ESP. Click open, and then save. Continue going down. Now here's Lexi's conflict resolution, and let's fix this. Okay, Pilgrim's Delight. We need to change that one. Change to. Type in VR. Locations, location. Uh, landscapes, locations. ESP. Open. Yato Aspen. Same thing. VR. Landscapes, locations. And Bent Pines. Okay, save that. Okay, now Bash Override Immersive Hold Borders. Right click, change to. VR, landscapes and locations, .esp, open, then save that. Lootable firewood piles. It's missing unique uh, border gates. Change to VR, landscapes and locations. Very good. Z patch, immersive hold borders, unique border gates. Yep, as soon as I clicked on it, it, uh, it automatically changed it to what it, what we needed. So VR merge landscapes and locations. Okay. Save that. Okay, did the law need several things, y'all? Immersive hold borders, unique border gates, and bent pines. And actually, these should change automatically as soon as we click out. Yep. Then Spice of Life Orc Stronghold. So I click on that, change to, type in VR, landscapes and locations, open. Awesome. All right, and save it. And that should be it. Very good. Boom. All right, now let's deal with any errors that may have been introduced. So let's start up SSE edit. Load up everything. Okay, no mod groups. All right, let's check Lexi's Lego. Uh, let's check Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn conflict resolution. All right, what we got? Something goes with the dagger. What's going on with that? Copy it, paste it, the weapon here, and some error that could not be res be resolved. All right, so let's drag uh, from VR Merge DBM TCC, let's drag that over to fix that problem. Uh, yes, we do want to transfer that master. Okay, so let's check out the conflict resolution, Legacy, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn Omega. Checking for errors. Okay, the tent layers have nothing to do with us. A road sign. Okay, so this is from uh, Point the Way. Copy, paste. So I'm copying this form ID right here. Enter. So what's going on here? Yep. So for the name base here. So it's placing a reference here when it should be placing an ACTI, whatever that is. Let me double check. Yeah, found FER reference expected. Yeah. So to fix this, just drag uh, from VR merge landscapes and locations. Yes. And that fixes that one. And let's look at the other one. A mannequin. Found a reference expected. No, wait a minute. Yeah, let's check it out. So I'm copying this right here, the reference ID or form ID or whatever it's called. Control C up here, Control V, enter. Oh, no, that's the one we just fixed. All right, this next one here. Control C, Control V. And now what's going on here? Oh, this is dealing with the safe house. Yeah, from that safe house that we uh, merged. So some other things got scrambled here. Okay. So we're going to drag over the cell name here because this is going to be the safe house. And then it's going to supposed to be a plaque and not a mannequin. Drag that over. There we go. And I'm assuming that these other changes were um, Lexi resolving a conflict with uh, something else. And I guess we don't need to forward this marker. Okay. So we'll call that one done. 
Uh, let's check out the Z patch. All right, the typical tent layer stuff with the uh, Z patch. All right, now let's do Dindalod. So right click on Dindalod, check for errors. Okay, so we got this here. This looks like a lot of stuff, but this is not really that bad. Let's start with the first one, Orc Stockade Gate Door. So I'm copying this, pasting it over here and entering enter. Okay, let's make sure I hide no conflicts and empty row so all we see is this, okay. Yeah. So this is from Spice of Life, or, uh, Spice of Life uh, Orc Stronghold. And it's placing like these references here from some Imperial tent, which is not correct. So from the model tab here, just drag it over. And actually we could take an estimated guess and check here as well. And yeah, we'll drag that over. All right, so that's the doors, our gates. Okay. So gate, gate. Now the stockade wall walkway. Let's do this one. Hope this isn't coming across as too complicated because it's really not. Just take your time and take it step by step. So I'm copying this ID here, pasting it up here. And yeah, same thing. So we're just dragging that model over. And I'm guessing all these yellow ones are these, I guess, purple or violet text over this yellow background. I'm guessing all these need it. Yeah. Yeah, so just go through these and just uh, drag it over and fix it. So it's not hard, just tedious. But this is what you got to do if you want to play this in VR. But it's worth it, guys. It is totally worth it. All right, that one doesn't need it. Yeah, just the ones that have a, a problem with a model. Piece of cake. And it's precisely this reason why everyone pre uh, pre um, prefers to use uh, ESL pl uh, flagged plugins in uh, Skyrim Special Edition. You don't have to deal with this kind of problems when you're merging. good oh some more that one's good that one's good all right looks like the rest of these are good all right let's go ahead and check into lot once again see if there's any more errors that we missed checking for errors and done okay didn't lot is good all right go ahead and close it out save it and we're good to go Okay, that leaves us at 264 plugins. We are getting ever so close. Hey guys, so it looks like my mic crapped out. So this is me watching over my playback and commentating as to what is going on. So what we're doing here is revisiting VR merge miscellaneous patch because these plugins here, I had meant to integrate into this merge, but I somehow neglected to do it. So this is what we're gonna do. Locate these plugins and then drag them down to the bottom. Okay. Once you did that, go into Merge Plugins Hide and reactivate all the plugins in VR Merge Miscellaneous Patches. We're not bothering to switch to the profile that we created for this merge because all these plugins are in alphabetical order other than Sparkles, which needs to be placed above Sparkles Immersive Sounds patch. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna place these new plugins uh, uh, alphabetically into the existing plugins, I guess. So SDA, RDO, SDA, SDE, and SDA, NFF are gonna be placed right here. Then JS Purses is next. It's going to be placed uh, just beneath the last JRT. Then Realistic Room Rental, and so on and so forth.
All right, once we've got that um, in alphabetic order, let's go ahead and load up Z Edit. And then go down into Z Merge. And we're going to go down to the previous profile that we created for VR Merge's miscellaneous patches. Click on Edit, go into Plugins, and then check the boxes next to the new plugins that we're integrating into this merge. Gonna hit OK and then build. Okay, then after that, close it out. Oh, I've noticed that there were some BSAs that are, that are attached to Lucian, uh, Moon and Star Patch, and Moon Path to uh, elsewhere, and we need to unpack these BSAs. Okay, once we located the BSA, we're going to start with Moon and Star Patch. I'm going to right click on here, extract, then make sure to click on Mods first, and then we're going to type in Lucian, Moon and Star Patch right there. Select folder. Okay, now moving on to Moon Path, the Elsewhere Patch. I'm going to right click, extract, then click on Mods. Type in Lucian, and there it is, Moon Path Elsewhere Patch. Select folder. All right, that's it. And now we could hide these plugins. Merge plugins hide, then right click and disable plugins. All right, down to 258 plugins. Okay, before we move on to the next merge, I wanted to point out uh, Landscape Cathedral Concepts. Um, I had misplaced it. We want to place it in priority position 193. We are doing this because uh, it was overriding textures I did not intend it to do. So place it here in priority position 193 or in the first position under general world improvements. Okay, um, the next merge we're going to do is uh, weather system. So locate these plugins and drag them down to the bottom. Then drop down into profiles, click on manage, copy legacy of the Dragonborn, and we're gonna name it VR Merge Weather. Okay. Now let's choose a new profile we just created, VR Merge Weather. And now let's go ahead and create that merge. So Z edit, run. Drop down, Z merge, start session. Okay, let's create the merge. Calling it VR merge weather. Plugins, go all the way down. Tick those boxes. Go to load order. Use game load order, then OK. Then go all the way down and click build. OK, when that's done, go ahead and close it out. Switch back to Legacy of the Dragonborn profile. So drag up VR merge up to the rest of the VR merges. And then Merge plugins hide and disable those plugins. Okay. Now we're down to 255. Okay, so I'm going to run loot real quick. Bye. Okay, moving on. Okay, the next merge, what we're going to do are, is going to consist of these late patches here. So let's drop down to profiles here, go into manage. We're going to copy Legacy of the Dragonborn. We're going to copy it. We're going to call it VR Merge Late Patch. Late Patches. Okay, close that. Let's drop down. Let's go to that new profile we created. VR Merge Late Patch patches and then this is what I want you to do 
Click on WZ Oblivion Artifacts Viz Head Fix. Then shift click uh, OCW underscore cell settings. And drag those to the bottom. Okay, now let's merge them. Drop down, go to Z Edit, Run. And then over here, drop down, go to Z Merge, Start a Session. Okay, Create Merge. And we're going to call it VR Merge Late Patches. Plugins, let's go all the way down and tick these boxes. Good. Load order, use game load order. Scroll down, okay. And it's saying that Z-Patch uh, needs one of those plugins as a master. No problem. You know how we're going to fix that. Click OK. Then let's go all the way down and then build it. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and close this out. Switch back to Legacy of Dragonborn um, profile. Drag this merge up with the other merges. Activate. Then let's hide uh, these merge plugins. Merge plugins hide, hide these plugins. Okay, cool. So now let's load up loot. Because we have to add a loot rule to that new merge we just created. Okay, scroll all the way down. Here it is, VR Merge Late Patches. Click on the three dots, edit metadata. In the groups, we're gonna change this to Consistency Patches. And then Load After, add new row. And we're gonna load it after uh, Lex Lexi's, there it is. Lexi's, Lexi the Dragon Consistency Patches Merged. Go ahead and save it. And we could run loot. But since it's so close to the bottom, we're just going to position it manually. So I'm dragging it up just beneath Consistency Patches Merged right here. Alright, so now let's uh, fix uh, Z Patch. So let's go ahead and open up Rybash. Drag this all the way down, click on Z patch. And what are we missing? Okay, we're missing Oblivion Artifacts and Viz Head Fix. So we're gonna right click on that, change to, type in VR, and it's gonna be late patches, VR merge late patches. Open, save. That's it, let's close it up. Okay, and we're in luck. There are no errors in Z-Patch that we need to fix. So we are down to 250 plugins. All right, so technically we are within the limits of uh, Skyrim VR, but we could free up a few more. So let's go all the way up and take a look at these here. The UHDAPs concerning the music and the dialogue in the game. These plugins are actually empty plugins. Well, what's an empty plugin? It's a plugin that simply points the game to the BSA uh, associated with whatever mod that this is. So if we unpack these BSAs, we no longer need the plugins themselves. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna unpack these BSAs and then um, we're just gonna remove those plugins. So let's click on archives here. And these should be very easy to find. So music, high quality is the first one we're going to unpack. So let's right click that. Extract. Click on mods up here, which is in Mod Organizer 2, which is in Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn. Down here, we're going to type in music. There it is, music HQ. We're going to select that, then select folder, and then we're going to unpack it. All right, that's it for that one. Next up, Voices EN Part 1. So... Let's unpack EN0 BSA. And then click on mods. And then down here, we're going to type in voices. And we want EN part one. Select folder. And this could take a while. These are pretty big, uh, 
files that need to be unpacked. Okay, with that done, we're going to move on to EN1BSA here. Extract. And we should already be in Voices EN Part 1, which we are. Select Folder. And there we go. All right, with that done, we're going to move on to Voices EN Part 2. So first one we're going to do is EN4. Let's extract it. Click on Mods. Down here, type in Voices. We're going to part two, select folder. Okay, let's move on to EN3. Extract, folder's already selected for us, select folder. All right, cool, with that done, we're gonna move on to EN2. So right click it, extract, we're, on, we're already in the folder that we want. Now select folder. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's go all the way to the top. And here they are. I'm right clicking on music, opening an explorer. And this time I'm not going to keep the BSA because it's so big. I'm just going to delete these. And I'm going to do the same for uh, voices part one and two. Just deleting all of this, the BSAs and the ESPs. And part two as well. There we go. Now let's refresh this. Boom. Having done all those merges, now we're gonna run the relinker. So let's load up Z edit. Drop down to the merge, start the session. And then down here, click on relink scripts. Excellent. And with that done, we'll close this out. Cool. Excellent. Well done. All right, that leaves us at 244 plugins, which is 10 uh, below the max that Skyrim VR can handle. In my own personal playthrough, um, I would actually be um, a lot less than this because there's several mods in Lexi's Guide that I just don't use. And chances are you probably feel the same way. But if at this point in the guide, um, you're feeling like you have a little more plugins that you want to have, uh, you may want to consider looking at um, whatever mods that you installed and see if you could merge some of those down or see if you could uh, integrate some of those uh, plugins in with what we merged here. A good place to start is looking for mods that have this little yellow dot, meaning that it's ESL flagged, which means that it's mergeable. Just do your due diligence and back up everything that you need to change. That way it is reversible. And if you're in doubt whether or not you could merge something, my advice would be to uh, back everything up, merge it, and test it. That's only uh, really the way to, to, to really do it. You could try asking, hey guys, is this safe to merge? But chances are you're not gonna get a response because everybody's uh, mod loadout is unique and different and chances are they just don't know. So the best thing you could do is just try it, merge it, test it. So with that said, I'm gonna end the video here. And in the next episode, we're going to sort out our SKAC plugins. We're going to remove the ones that don't have a VR equivalent, or we're going to swap out the ones that do. So I will catch you in the next video.